Tell Nora I love her. Tell Nora I need her. As promised at the end of the last video, I've uh, done a, a couple of range tests, uh, having sorted out the initial problem with uh, the, the frequency. Now, I haven't uh, tuned this in any way. This is straight out of the box um, with the uh, existing antennas and such like, so nothing's been changed. Uh, it's not scientific, it's quick and dirty, but uh, that's the way I like it. So here we are approximately half a kilometre from the village. RSSI 104 minus 104 and you can see the packet count counting up there. So here we are uh, about a kilometre away and uh, still working. I've 3D printed these rather neat little cases off of a design on, on Thingiverse. Uh, links in the description as always. And just before I assembled this one, um, let me just remove the power from it. Something else to be aware of on the supplied connectors. Um, the inner part of this connector actually unscrews as well. And to start with, I found that these were, were quite loose. So uh, before you panel mount this, as I'm going to do in, in, in the box here, it's a good idea to get a, a spanner, a wrench, and just, uh, just tighten that up, as you don't want that to be as loose as it is right now. So let's get that put in its box. What I've done now is just on the sending unit, put in one of these little uh, DHT11 temperature and humidity sensors and hopefully we can see on the display not only the packet count increasing but the temperature and the humidity that is clearly being sent now over the LoRa link the radio link to the receiving device and I've put a little lithium cell in here just a 300 milliamp -air cell and we can see the RSSI as before uh, and the, the bite count, the temperature and the humidity. So if I put my finger now on the, on the sensor, we should be able to see the humidity and the temperature increase a little. So that's just a, a slightly more real world example of things that can be done. So perhaps in a, in a warehouse you want to keep track of temperature and humidity or you have a, an outhouse with a freezer in it you want to, to know about that then uh, this is one way to do it. Just a quick look at the code. Now the real changes are only made in the sender code. The receiver code just prints out the packets that it receives so nothing to do there. On the sending side we need to include the library for the, the, the sensor itself. So we have the DHT. Uh, this is a specific library for the ESP32. And if we go down the page, uh, nothing to change there uh, or on that point. Just for debugging purposes here in the serial monitor, we also output the humidity and uh, temperature data. So this is where the little magic happens here in the loop function um, where we set up the little um, OLED display and start to send the packet. We obviously get the humidity and temperature values from the sensor itself and then we create a draw string command and the values here are the locations of the text upon the screen. We output temperature and then the string that the temperature function has given us, followed by degree C in this instance, and followed by humidity and the percentage. I've reduced the counter time down to 500 milliseconds, um, just so that the temperature and humidity updates a little more quickly. And that's it. Again, just um, serial outputting the same information for, for debugging purposes. So quite a simple change there. And finally, sending the packets to the receiving side. I hope you found that of interest and will like and subscribe.